home. It's going to a better place. Picking out the right color of grains. One more. Spin spin. All done. Happy avocado. Should I sell it on my shop? I spent $50 more on these. This is what we got. Charm time! I love this batch of charms. Turtles! I love the shells. Containers are small, but I have other ones. Stickers! I finally have all my blue beads now I can organize Shiny. them. Organizing my beads. Part blue. Cut and pull as usual. Trying to strand. Oops. Pull time. I always add white. All done purple is next. Organizing my beads. We need more beads first. That's better. Organizing my beads part purple. Oops. Cut and pull. We found a spy. Pull time. You didn't see that. Purple is done. Charm time. And it was like, you're a nice guy. I'll think about it maybe. XO baby. 
can get for 10 cents. Broken turtle. Freebie. Time to ship it. Made with love. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that thing right there and put the string through the hole at the bottom, then tie it twice and close it. Cut the excess off, then open up the ring and put it through the thing you closed. Then do the same thing on the other side, but don't close the ring. Then put the clip on the ring and close it. Let's package and order together, making sure everything is sanitized. We have an order for two bracelets. Oh, thankful freebies. Oh, thank you, card. Organizing my beads. Part 3. Green. I cut in half then pull. Oops. Time for charms. Pearls. 
saving this spot for later. I am whiting all of my containers. All done. Hey guys, today I'm going to be packing orders because Carrie is too busy with college. Okay, the first person, they ordered the surprise pick bracelet. Then um, the next thing we are going to do is pack the freebies. I love doing this part, honestly. And I also love writing the thank you cards, but probably my least favorite part is cutting like the wall kit thingy. I don't know why. It just takes forever sometimes. Um, so we are going to put everything in. Here's the wall thingy that you can hang up on your wall. Bye, guys! Okay, today we went to Michael's for the Michael's to get some beads. I really like these blue ones. They're pretty. They're shiny. And then they had these clear beads in these sets, these two color sets that are pretty. Hot pink. Hot pink is my favorite color. Orange ones. Blue ones. And then purple ones. Pink. And then some teal ones. No, those are blue. Okay, and then I like the turtles. And then there's more beads. I felt like they're honestly kind of expensive. I also saw this container that was $4.99. Expensive. You could get the same thing at $4.299 at Hobby Lobby. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. For jingle bells and jingle bells, jingle all the way. There's a happy feeling nothing in the world can buy. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Claus is coming to town. Hey guys, today me and my sister went shopping to Hobby Lobby for some beads and there are so many pretty and cool beads and I wish I could just get them all anyways. So these are all of these beads. Um, my sister got these really pretty blue letter beads. She got two of them and then... I also got... <laughs> I got these really pretty silver ones and then little small beads and little white beads and this pen that I love so much and this little turtle dish and then since I love the other pen I decided to get my sister that pen <laughs> and then she got pink, <laughs> pink beads and white beads <laughs> hey everyone today we're gonna be making a bracelet but for my brother first we're gonna take our black beads put those in the bead spinner I'm gonna take about three to four inches of this. I found these really cool beads. I wanted to use the big ones, but I actually ended up using that small silver strand in the back. We have letter beads for the BMW. I wish I had my tripod, but 
but this is about the length I used of the black. We're gonna be taking the M3 colors, navy blue, blue, red, and then white. I'm gonna be adding that in chunks. We got the BMW. I put on the letter beads and they were my favorite. I felt like it kind of made it a little cheesy. It was a little too kid and my brother is a grown adult. Here's the bracelet, now it's time the to get it. Hand out. Okay, put <laughs> the other way. Hmm? Okay, right, close your eyes. What? Okay, open it. Oh, it's the BMW bracelet. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it fit good? I thought you were gonna stick a bug in my hand. <laughs> Thank you. Today we're packing an order for my cousin, but this was actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch and so he picked some things out that he thinks she would like and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up, we got all our packing supplies, we're gonna pack package these two together. We actually just got new packaging which is so exciting and so fun. We're gonna put these two together, and since it's a set, we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high, but it's okay, because we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Write our thank you note, and I love this, but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew. And I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, what you guys see, is a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage, and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection, and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. I'm gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on. But I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok, so she can't see this. Organizing my beads. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone, some of them are kind of low, and then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out <laughs> She cuts it and then I pull it and then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> Okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. Oh, wait, not hot pink. Baby beads. Baby beads. Little babies. They're so cute. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Why are your bracelets so expensive? I've gotten a couple of these comments, so let's talk about it. There's a couple of key factors that go into the pricing of my bracelets. With any small business or business in general, they need to calculate how much supplies it's going to cost. Along with cost, it also takes time. Using this two-step formula, you can go ahead and calculate how much you want to sell your bracelets. We chose to sell ours within the $5 range, and we even have some cheaper than that. Our bracelets also take about 10-15 to 15 minutes each to make, and this doesn't include taking pictures of them or videos. I also wish we could sell them for super cheap, but it's not quite realistic. Another thing that tends to add up is packaging. Now, packaging is something I wouldn't change for the world, and I love it so much. But all these little things slowly add up. But it makes it super fun to give, and it's fun to receive. When you buy from a small business, you're buying more than just an item, and we appreciate it so much. I spent $100 on beads, and this is what I got. of cool colors for spring and summer. Now for the charms. Here's the pearls I got. Oops, I got it too small. It came broken, but I can fix it. 
all of our packaging materials. Shiny. Our little scoop. How do I hide the knot when I tie it? So first, it depends a lot on what string you use. I use this white string I got from Sheen. I'll show you an example of the two. Here's the clear, kind of thicker, plasticky string. It'll tie a couple knots, but then you can see it starts to get thicker really fast. But the tip, you know, if you do use a string, is just to push it through the bead hole as much as possible. Here's the other white string that I use. I'll go ahead and typically tie it three to five times. And then again, you want to cut it as close to the knot as possible. And then you can see, you know, it just hides within itself since the knot itself is actually super tiny, but it's pretty good, pretty stretchy. Here's another example of me doing it. I'll go ahead, tie it, and then cut it as close as possible. And then it just, seriously, it disappears. But yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so this is our bead confetti, and we've actually been getting some questions of what can we make out of it? which I'm actually really curious too, because we sell these in our shop and I've actually never packaged ourselves up one and tried making stuff. So I'm packing my sister one. My sister is packing one up for me. We're gonna swap bags and see what we can make out of it. <laughs> okay, and to avoid cheating, that's why I filled up her bag and she filled up my bag so we don't hand pick out charms that we want. And I'm actually gonna make a fun charm and she's making a bracelet off to the side. So let's start. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to do time lapse because the video would take forever. But I feel so bad for Sophia. She was having. Don't see it. Just watch. <laughs> oh, mine may have not fell apart three times her bracelet fell apart three times and so at this point we just decided to show you the pattern i, and I gave up yeah but this is a foam charm i made it's so cute Thank you. i really like this orange part but yeah and there's still so much left it's crazy bye bye <laughs> Which phone charm is better? Okay, so this is the first phone charm we have. I like it. I really like the stretch, you guys, but some of you guys don't like the stretch. So today we're going to be making one that doesn't stretch. I'm just going to be making the loop like we usually do if we're making any other phone charm. I do the loop about two inches, and then we're going to get beads. This is bead confetti I got. We're going to get more and more and more beads. We're going to start adding them on one by one by one some problems I noticed right away is it frays at the end and it was so annoying I tried twisting it guys we even let it on fire to kind of seal up those ends it kind of worked a little bit and then I just ended up cutting it and that totally worked so it's already giving me a harder time trying to even make it it's not quite long enough we're gonna add two more inches because we do six inches on both sides Ta -da! okay now it's time to tie it I'm gonna tie it like normal I'm gonna tie it three times and I know I need to get my nails done. I'm getting them done today. Please. You guys can go ahead and check on my page if I have them done. If I don't, please yell at me. If I had to rate both the phone chart, it's hard. It's honestly personal preference. I personally like the stretch, stretch or no stretch phone charm. If it breaks, it's a zero. Let me know what you guys like more, team stretch or team no stretch. Seriously vote, I wanna see who wins. Let's package an order today. First, this is my bucket of strings. I actually always have to touch it when I see it but it's right next to the string and the string is actually what we have to use for this order. We're grabbing all our bags that we need. So satisfied. The order we have today is for a returning customer and she is so sweet and so nice. She leaves the nicest reviews. I seriously love her. Anyway, she ordered five bags of bee confetti and I've got this extra ring in there. I'm gonna wear it, but maybe I should just start hiding random stuff in my bee confetti. We're sticking in more charms because we can, but we're just gonna be scooping up those bags. There's a reason why I'm not showing me filling up all five bags, and it's because I was struggling so hard. Bees were flying everywhere. Anyway, she asked for extra strength, so that's what we're gonna give her. We're gonna give her a lot of strength. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around and around and around. This is a called a jewelry holder for those who ask, and I know you guys will. 
you guys can get these off of Amazon for super cheap. But yeah, they're just made of cardboard. They're good. They're nice. I put a sticker over it to hide the staple. Moving on to the surprise bracelet she picked out. And these bracelets I actually have discounted. So all my other bracelets are five dollars. These ones are four dollars because I get to pick them out. But it's fun. It's kind of like a surprise blind bag a little bit. But look at this sticker and this sticker. I think they're both cute and kind of funny. That little sun's a little creepy, but like good creepy. Sister's making her bracelet. I'm gonna get everything else ready to pack. She bought three sets and one cute turtle bracelet. And then here's how my bracelet turned out. It's so cute. I think this is my favorite so far, but I also really love my sister's that she made. Let me know your guys' favorite, but I made these stickers really quick so she knows what these two random bracelets are. And then we put those in the bag. Here's all her stickers, slash babies. I like calling them thankful bags because I'm thankful for the order and grateful for you guys. But yeah, here's the order. Here's everything that she got. We stuffed it in the bag, but we're so grateful for this order and we're grateful for all of you guys that show us all the love and support. We got our first order today, and it is a crazy one. They ordered one seafoam pearl bracelet and three cute turtle ones. Here's the crazy part. They ordered 10 bead confetti bags, making sure each bag is full. She's going to have fun making bracelets. It would take so long to organize these. After filling up the 10 bags, I gave her an extra one. These are the charms I use. Giving her turtles and cute other charms. Her name starts with R. Giving her plenty of string. Here's our thank you freebies for being our biggest order.
total orders for bracelets and ten bags of confetti. I love packing this order. Time to ship it. <laughs>